Hi students, uh, now let's see GNF. Uh, so far you have seen about the CNF that is the Chomsky normal form. What is the Chomsky normal form? What are the steps to convert uh, the context free grammar to the Chomsky normal form and the example on uh, conversion. Now coming to the another type of the normal form that is a Greeback normal form. Okay, GNF that is a Greeback normal form. A context-free grammar is in G back, uh, agree back normal form if all the production rules satisfy one of the following condition. If whatever the production rules that in the context-free grammar, in that uh, context-free grammar, it has to follow any one of these uh, conditions. Let's see what are these conditions. A start symbol generating epsilon. So whatever the start symbol that is there that it can generate epsilon, then you can say that the uh, that a particular production is in GNF, Greeback normal form. A non-terminal generating a terminal. Okay, a non-terminal is generating a terminal. And the third one is a non-terminal generating a terminal which is followed by any number of non-terminals. So this is the only difference between the uh, the Chomsky normal form and the Greeback normal form. Okay. In the Chomsky, Chomsky normal form, uh, the start symbol is going to generate, uh, the start symbol is generating an epsilon or uh, a non-terminal is generating a terminal or a non-terminal is generating more than, it's only two non-terminals, not more than, it's only two non-terminals should be there. So this is Chomsky normal form. Whereas Greeback normal form, a start symbol is generating epsilon or a non-terminal is generating a terminal. So these two conditions are satisfying. And the third one is here a non-terminal which is followed by uh, it's generating a terminal okay one terminal is generating and it is followed by more any number of non-terminals means here it can this this is in GNF okay either this is in GNF or this is also in GNF means a non -ter a terminal which is followed by any number of non terminals it can be followed with any number of non terminal then we can say that is in GNF Greeback normal form the only thing is the starting symbol should be a terminal followed by any number of non terminals okay so this is a main difference between here this is uh, this condition is violating here in the GNF because the start symbol on the right hand side should be a terminal followed with any number of non terminals but here the start symbol uh, the start symbol of this right hand side should be only either single terminal or it should be a uh, two non terminals that is CNF Okay, so here just concentrate on Greeback. If you want to any confusion, just co compare the CNF and GNF. So the context-free grammar is in GNF. When you say that the given context-free grammar is in uh, Greeback normal form, whenever the star symbol is generating an epsilon, one rule, and the non-terminal is generating a terminal. And the third condition is a non-terminal is generating a terminal, okay, a single terminal, which is followed by any number of non-terminals any number 1 2 3 4 5 6 any number but it should be followed with means the starting should be a terminal should be there so these are the conditions for the Greeback normal form let's see whether this grammar is in which grammar you can say that is in gnf and it is not in gnf let me consider two grammars g1 and g2 so in the g1 s determines a a b or a b a determines a a or a and b determines b b or b now I need to check whether this grammar is in uh, Greeback normal form or not. First, uh, I can clearly say this is not in CNF. How I can say it is not in CNF? Because it is followed by the starting letter is in A. That is, uh, sorry, uh, it is uh, a terminal will be there. But now let me check the GNF. GNF rule means the start symbol should be uh, epsilon or a non-terminal is generating a terminal or any non-terminal can be followed with a uh, the terminal is following with any number of non-terminals a terminal is followed with any number of non-terminals so these are the rules for the gnf let's check whether it is following or not s determines a a b okay it is following rule 3 and this is a b this is also following rule 3 because the starting is a no terminal if terminal terminal is there followed with any number of non-terminals then it is in gnf 
okay so this is also following rule 3 and this is a rule 2 a determines a and a determines b b so this is also in rule 3 and this is also in rule 2 okay by seeing this i can say the g1 satisfies the rules specified by the greeback normal form so the grammar is in gn now coming to this grammar is this grammar is in gnf or not i can clearly say this grammar is not in gnf how i can say first let's check the production one this is in gnf right a terminal is followed with non terminals a terminal is followed with non terminals so this is in gnf here also a terminal is followed with non terminals but here a terminal is followed by it, uh, it determines epsilon only the start symbol has to generate epsilon not the other terminals here s is a start symbol if s determines epsilon means it is in gnf and in this in also in cnf but here the start symbol is not generating epsilon only the non terminals are generating the epsilons so these two are not in gnf so G2 does not satisfy the rule specified for Gre uh, Greeback normal form as A determines epsilon and B determines epsilon. So only the start symbol has to generate epsilon. So the grammar is in, not in GNN. Okay. Thank you.